In the book of Daniel, chapter 1, beginning in verse 1, a story is unfolding right before our very eyes. I would like to read the scriptures in chapter 1 of Daniel, verse 1. In the third year of the reign of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem and besieged it. And the Lord gave Jehoiakim, king of Judah, into his hand with some of the articles of the house of God, which he carried into the land of Shinar, to the house of his God. And he brought the articles into the treasure house of his God. Friends, as we read the book of Daniel, chapter 1, verses 1 and 2, we see a dramatic, dramatic conflict unfolding in the land of Jerusalem, where the king of Babylon, led by uh, Nebuchadnezzar, attacked, destroyed, annihilated the kingdom of of Jerusalem and one of those who were taken captive was Daniel his name is means God is my judge let's continue in verse 3 then the king Nebuchadnezzar instructed Ashpenaz the master of his eunuchs to bring some of the children of Israel and some of the king's descendants and some of the nobles young men in whom there was no blemish but good-looking gifted in all wisdom possessing knowledge and quick to understand who had ability to serve in the king's palace and whom they might teach the language and literature of the chaldeans verse 5 it continues and the king appointed them for them a daily provision of the king's delicacies and of the wine which he drank and three years of training for them so that at the end of that time they might serve before the king now from among those of the sons of judah were daniel hananiah mishael and azariah to them the chief of the eunuchs gave names he gave Daniel the name Belteshazzar to Hananiah, Shadrach to, Meshach, to Mishael, Meshach, and to Azariah, Abednego. Friends, I would like you to um, uh, ponder for a moment as I read verse 8. The, success, the secret recipe of Daniel's success as we begin the journey to understand how Daniel faced or faced his faces his dilemma verse 8 very important very very um, poignant and uh, very articulate but Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with a portion of the king's delicacies nor with the wine which he drank therefore he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord for this reading. Right in this verse is the character, the formation, the training that Daniel had when he was still with his family just before their country was defeated by Babylon. Daniel Purposed in his heart. What a beautiful encouragement to all those who are true and loyal to the Most High God. It means he resolved, he determined that he would, he would serve only God. But in doing so, he would not, he doesn't want, he will not defile himself. Friends, Daniel is in a dilemma. Daniel is in a personal crisis. And Daniel was having some problems together with, with those who survived, his friends. They were in a foreign land. You could just imagine the pressures that they're going through. They need to survive. They need to, to find a way just to, to get by. 
And there was an opportunity for them because they were, they were chosen among the, the best and the brightest that Judah could offer. And they were there. But, but I like Daniel. He was, I like his, his uh, resolution in his heart. He will not allow a foreign power, intimidation, to take away the love for his God which was inculcated to him by his parents when he was growing up. The Bible says, train up a child the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. Hallelujah, friends. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Because Daniel is our example. In spite, despite the dilemma that he's facing, in such a, in such a tragic moment, in such a toughest moment in his life, he determined that he will not defile his body. Now, I, I know that body is important, but for him, the body is the temple of the Most High God. They might have destroyed the physical temple in Jerusalem. The, the, the Babylonians could have flattened the, the homes of his forebears, but he resolved that he will not allow his body temple to be defiled. By foreign powers. Friends, we all know that there will be a great time of trouble that will be coming. We all know that there will be persecution that will come. They will persecute those who are true and loyal to God. We know because history told, tells us and prophecy is ahead of us. But the present time, friends, I would like to tell you that we have encouragement in the life of Daniel. That in spite of his personal losses and tragedies and, 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 and the grief that he's going through, he resolved in his heart that he will not defile his God. And so, friends, today, I would like to encourage you. Maybe you are in a personal crossroads, so to speak. Maybe you are you're having some difficult decisions or tough times in your life or a financial um, difficulty or a relationship that, that doesn't seem to, to go anywhere or you're, you're struggling just to, to find your identity, I would like to encourage you today, just like Daniel, to resolve in your heart, not to defile your temple body, your spiritual body, as well as your physical body by any temptations or coercion by any foreign alien powers that defy God. Friends, may our food and our water today be pure so that it will nourish us completely and that our service to God will be wholesome holy and holy. I like this. Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself. Verse 9 is interesting. Now God had brought Daniel into the favor and goodwill of the chief of the eunuchs. You know what? If you remain loyal to God, if you remain true to God, if your honesty and integrity is beyond reproach, blameless, so to speak, God, the Most High, Powerful, Almighty, He will find a way to give you favor. He will find a way. He will open the way. He will give you the way because God rewards those who are loyal to Him. I have no doubt in my mind that if God has done this to Daniel, he will also do it to us who are loyal to God. Friends, today, may we be encouraged that Daniel purposed in his heart not to defile himself and continue to be loyal to his God.